What is humanity's origin in Halo? Well, today we're gonna find out. Humans have always questioned where they came from. The question has inspired many to take upon the task of explaining why and how we came about. From the creation myth of Hinduism to the sentimental and grandest theory in biological evolution, humans have come up with countless ideas about the origins of us. Looking at a fictional universe such as Halo allows us to examine closely our own beliefs. The rigidity and certainty of canon means that physiological and physical ideas are bounded. It is time that we connect to the domain and examine the origins of humanity and forerunners in the Halo universe. The supernatural for thousands of years have been used to explain what could not be known. Greg Bear and his trilogy expanded upon much. The godlike precursors are older than the universe itself and travel between galaxies seeding and advancing life. These omnipotent and still largely mysterious creatures traveled the Milky Way long ago to start the task of seeding life in the many stars of our galaxy. They created many races, but two stand out among them, the foreigners and the humans. These two species have a long and complicated history. Before the activation of the array, two interstellar empires reign supreme, one being the foreigners and the other being belongings to ancient humanity. These two galactic superpowers had an uneasy peace and each sought what the other had. The assassination of Arduk Franz Ferdinand by Gavrilo Princip and Sarah Jevo started a seminal tragedy of the 20th century, World War One. The Halo universe has its own version of the assassination, the cleansing of planets, presumably done by glassing, ordered by Forthinko and the ancient human leaders. These cleansings were done to curb the growth of the shaping sickness, which is the flood. To the foreigners, the cleansing was an act of the great malice, perhaps an act of war even, not a galactic saving measure. So essentially, this was a huge misunderstanding the humans didn't mean to start the war, but they were trying to get rid of the Flood. They gritted their teeth while they had to kill the foreigners and the Flood in this saving measure. These two empires went to war and things would never be the same. There are many ideas about the connections between humans and foreigners. It is undeniable that these species closely resemble one another. It is undeniable that these species, foreigners and humans, closely resemble one another. But how deep does this connection go? For much of the time in Halo has been a franchise where humans and foreigners were one and the same. Humans built magnificent structures and technology that the Covenant worshipped. This however did change. Sometime after Halo 3, it was decided that humans and foreigners were separate species. This allowed 3 for 3 Industries to explore many unique and intriguing ideas about the relationship between the humans and the foreigners. What if both positions were right and the humans and foreigners were one? Halo Primordium provides the greatest suggestion that this may be the case. It says, was there some sense of satisfaction at this melding of so many foreigners and humans, some triumphal revisiting of the ancient plan, long ago frustrated, then abandoned, but now possible once more? Could foreigners and humans be recombined and reverse their shivering asunder so many millions of years before? When the primordial and the last of its kind decided on a larger, wider strategy, a greater plan that would no doubt bring about the immense pain, but also a greater unity of things. This excerpt from chapter 33 of Primordium provides the clearest evidence that humans and foreigners had a connection that extended far deeper than the superficial. From this point onward is where the speculation becomes intense and fan theory starts in earnest. We we learn about the Foreigner's precursor war throughout Bear's trilogy. We get justification for the war, but we may only know a sliver of the truth. The mantle is a moral quagmire that no species has ever truly held. The grandiose idea originates from the Lovecraftian race known as the Precursors. The Precursors can travel between galaxies and appear to see life in galaxies they visit. 
it makes sense that they would eventually move on to new galaxies and create a new in the barren fields of dust, planets, and plasma. The precursors held the mantle in high regard and wished to pass it down to their creations. This fact could have led the precursors creating a species expressly for the purpose of holding the mantle in the Milky Way. This species is called the Inheritors and both humanity and foreigners trace their origins to this singular species. In essence, the Inheritors are the combination of foreigners and humans. The Inheritors are the greatest creation of the Precursors. They hold the mantle with great dignity and manner. They ensure that all species of the Milky Way cooperate together and life flourishes under their tending. The Precursors slowly grow jagged, being volient caretakers. The Precursors commit an act so horrific, heinous, that even the domain struggles to remember. They devolve and split the inheritors, mirroring the actions of the precursors during their elimination from the Milky Way galaxy. The inheritors sit idly by and let their destruction happen, holding true to the principles of the mantle to the bitter end. The inheritors are split into two genera humans and foreigners. The foreigner ancestors settled on their home planet, while the humans settled on Urgi, Tyrene. The precursors seek to disguise their actions so they created many different species of ancestors and wait for millions of years to see these creatures rise to prominence once more. The precursors ultimate betrayal is over and the galaxy has been forever changed. Millions of years later, the separate species are once again space foreign. The foreigners have a close relationship with the humans. They live as brothers seeking the riches of the stars together. At some point, both species learn of the evil deed of the precursors, causing a war to start. The foreigners are far more zealous in their actions against the precursors, while humanity seeks a more peaceful solution. This chasm in opinion begins the hostilities between humans and foreigners foreigners that ultimately ends the foreigner-human war. After defeating the precursors, both species feel great remorse. Some foreigners exile themselves to Path Cathona, while humanity devolve themselves and segregate themselves to Erdi Tyrene. The mantle was held in extremely high regard by foreigners and helped to serve their downfall. Quote, it was long ago decided foreigners will never bear the mantle. Decided how? Through long study, the decision is final. Humans will replace you. Humans will be tested next." End quote. The preceding concordance occurs between the Isodidact in the Primordial and Chapter 41 of Primordium. Foreigners in all likelihood failed the Precursor's test or showed extremely undesirable characteristics and traits. The fact that the Foreigners failed the test means that the Precursors must find another candidate. This has led to the theory that Precursors intervened and tampered with a common ancestor to humans on Earth about 10 million to 12 million years ago. Foreigner DNA was spliced and integrated with the DNA of a common ancestor, forming a Gias. These Gias is what creates humanity. This precursor imposed Gias further helps to guide the evolution of the various human species. The domain is complicit in this action hiding the meddling and guided advancement of humanity. Worthlessness of holding the mantle is a theme that repeats throughout the Reclaimer saga. Misery is sweetness, it said, as if confiding a secret. Foreigners will fail as you have failed before. Humans will rise. Whether they will also fail has not been decided. The primordial's works haunt and provide a grave warning for humanity. Is the plan for humanity still in place or is total consumption via the flood the future for humanity? Quote, Justice is reducing their genetics in such short generations from a space faring race to this. They are now closer to the animals they behaved as. If not for their encounter with the Flood, their gene plan could have surpassed our own. They could have someday held the mantle of responsibility. 
Well, the librarian in this scene from Halo Force Terminal points to the perhaps surprising genetic traits humans possess. Humanity's role in Halo is a constantly changing variable. Their actions do not converge. The plan that the precursors came up with so long ago outmoded and has been eclipsed by the line of thinking that the Timeless One holds. Official canon only provides extremely sparse details about the times before the human-foreigner war. This leads fans such as HaloArchive.com here to fill the gaps with logical conclusions and information. Most of this video was that, and it was just pretty much filling the gap. While we do have some ideas on what actually happened before humanity arose and what the actual origin of humanity was, we really don't know quite for sure. But perhaps in Halo 5, we will learn more about pre-human foreigner war and find out what the real origin of humanity was. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video then be sure to jump over on HaloArchive.com for plenty more pieces such as this one. If you enjoyed the video then be sure to like it up and subscribe here on Halo Follower for plenty more of your Halo news and entertainment. Catch you guys next time and peace out.